Hello everybody, I am your FIFA friend Sonu Kumar and if you are interested in gaming, football or sports in general, then this content is tailor made for you. I hope you like it. Hello guys, happy Saturday. Welcome to this vlog and you know this is that time of the week where we do our FPL fantasy vlog. You must be wondering that the vlog for game week 5 did not come. Yes, actually it was a mid game week and uh, I was little occupied so could not do it but the good news is even I was not able to do the vlog on that one. However, this game week 5 turned out to be the best one for me and why you will get to see right here yes as you can see on my screen peeps i got 85 points in the in, in the game week 5 and that's why because you know i had holland as my captain with cancelo in my team salah in my team jesus andreas Pereira, mitrovic everybody pitched in actually there was an automatic substitution right so for the player who has not played in your starting 11 it gets substituted with someone who has played actually and and scored some points maybe negative also in the same position so basically Westergaard was there in my defense he did not play initially my point was 86 but this stupid guy Westergaard got substituted by Nico Williams and Nico Williams had scored minus one so instead of 86 going to 87 86 became 85 and I'll show you how it has affected me in the league table also I will show you in ball renaissance I, it was a pretty good game week as I showed you here so quickly take a look at this game week history the overall rank is now down to 1.5 million from 2.8 which is a big jump almost 1.3 million uh, short now and movement is obviously up so uh, overall points has now reached 321 my game week rank is less than a million <laughs> uh, 6 lakhs 35810 and the game week points is 85 points on the bench is 2 transfers made was 1 cost was 0 and uh, quad value has reached 100.7 million pounds you know in in this substitution also i got unlucky because if you see we you know the substitution that i had made for the game week 5 i had substituted milivojevic out of my squad and i had brought in da silva but since i had already only three defenders i could not play da silva so basically i substituted to strengthen my bench you know how stupid of me that one i feel i wasted one uh, transfer and uh, that is one of the reasons why i am thinking of making no transfers for this uh, game week 6 okay before that let's quickly see in all the leagues i have obviously you know grown up in the league table uh, positions have become pretty good now specifically for this one ball renaissance so if you see here i have moved to 14th position still not in top 10 but uh, this is a significant improvement because i was i think 19 or 20 in the last uh, after last game week had played out so 85 could have been 87 and by that i, I would have scored 323 points which would have taken me to 12th position because uh, above me both the guys are at 322 that has costed me a couple of spots and those two points and that automatic substitution shit was uh, just not good for me now let's uh, see who has topped the charts after game week 5 so at first place in bald renaissance and the team who is there with 86 game week points is uh, don't case my miro basically kase and miro tanmay deshpande and overall uh, points is 348 sharing the same position with him is red devils fc scored by pritam mandal 85 game week points and overall points is 348 and uh, at the third position is lame team by Guniv Sondi. He also scored 85 game week points and overall score for him is 346. Now if we see that who has scored the most number of points this game week. So I think it is JS07 Jibin Sajeev with 97 game week points. But let's quickly can if anybody else has uh, overall game week points more than 97. So finally yes we can confirm that uh, for game week 5 the top scorer in this league was uh, Jibin Sajeev with 97 game week points and taking his overall score tally to 338 currently on 7th position. That's about game week 5 guys. Now let's uh, see the transfers. I am not looking forward to make any of them. However, I have one free transfer with me. So this is my squad basically and I think uh, although Ramsdale is showing in yellow but he will play against uh, Man United on Sunday. That's not a problem. I am worried about this uh, only right. Couple of guys in defense like uh, Alexander Arnold and Cancelo. I am sure with that these guys guys will always play start and all that but uh, among these three Mings, Westergaard and Nico Williams I want at least one solid defender who is 100% starter every game week so that I need to figure out but even if I try to substitute uh, Mings for 4.3 let's sort by defenders right and uh, max cost will be let's say 4.5 if you see I have only 4.3 in my bank with 4.3 anybody is there with 4.3 let's sort it 
hurt by price even if i substitute mings to bring in someone good but at 4.3 anybody is as good as mings only so uh, that i cannot do and uh, in the midfield position i have a lot of players and all of them have been playing well for kulusevski this time around the opponent is fulham so i'm not gonna substitute him out and mitrovic jesus and holland every, everybody is doing well for me i am not sure to do any substitutions as of now also if i talk about this guy alexander arnold last game week only he produced 17 points right and he was in my squad he can bring these kind of things any point of time although today is early kickoff with everton let's see at this game week i'm not gonna go with any substitutions also just to let you know a lot of new players have come in like alexander isaac you know obamiang is in right so if you see by forwards uh you know obamiang but he'll not be playing as of now so cost for him is 9 million then we have where is alexander isaac Isaac is uh, 7 million Newcastle he had some injury I think and Mope also can be a good good proposition to have so maybe you know removing Andres Pereira can be one good thing because uh, it's Tottenham and if we see the fixtures of Fulham right so next up is Chelsea Nottingham Forest Newcastle West Ham ah I can do that but once again let's just see if I can remove Andreas Pereira 4.5 and can I get someone midfielders 4.5 who is available? Long stuff is there. Okay, Reed, Pearson, Priste, Murphy, Levoyevich. Now at this point of time, I think uh, at at 4.5, Andres Pereira is a good option to have. Or do we have anybody else also? Quickly, go one. Yeah, Sean Longstaff uh, can be one, but yeah, usse zada to isne hi ye kar liya hai na total points to dekhe. Sorry guys, I got confused a little bit, but again the stand is same. I'm not gonna make any transfers this uh, game week, and uh, in the current uh, team, I am gonna substitute Westergaard for. Nico William who is playing Bournemouth at home and that fixture is at 7.30 India time right in the goal rush so this is my squad that I'm gonna go with everything is same only Nico Williams comes in for Stuttgart and uh, in goal Ramsdale is there in defense Alexander Arnold Cancelo Nico Williams in midfield Andreas Pereira Moussala Kulusevski Kundamo and in the forward position we have Mitrovic Jesus and none other than Orling Holland so do I need to change my captain i don't think so only thing that i will do is i'm gonna make kulusevski my wise captain holland will be the captain itself no further changes i'm not gonna play any of the chips as of yet bench boost triple captain or free hit let's just save our team that's it for this vlog as you can see here these are my overall points rank total players and all that pray hope that this game week also turns out good we'll see you in the next one have a happy weekend good day take care bye bye